You click this video because you want to know how to easily install Windows 10 for ARM on your M1 Mac. Maybe you have a certain app that you need that's Windows only, and you don't want to buy a dedicated Windows machine. Well, the good news is that it is super easy to use Parallels Desktop 16 for Mac to run Windows 10 on your M1 Mac. At the end, thumbs up if you find this video helpful. But before we get started, a brief word from our sponsor. 9to5Mac is sponsored by AirBuddy 2, a must-have utility for AirPods users. The original version was great, but AirBuddy 2 comes with tons of new incredible features. It extends macOS to improve your AirPods experience, and it's fully compatible with Big Sur and Apple Silicon. Just open your charging case next to your Mac to see a beautiful UI with info on batteries, connection, and status. With AirBuddy 2, you can connect and change listening modes at the same time with a single trackpad gesture. Automate system volume, audio input, and listening modes so you're ready to go into a video call with just a single click. And you can enjoy custom global keyboard shortcuts that allow you to quickly connect to, disconnect from, or change listening modes on your devices. Go to airbuddy.app slash 9to5Mac to learn more. The first 100 9to5Mac viewers to use that URL will get AirBuddy with a 20% discount. And stay tuned to the end of this video to learn about even more things that AirBuddy 2 can do for you. So step number one is to download and install Parallels Desktop 16 for Mac. So you literally just open up Safari, type in Parallels.com, the official website of Parallels Desktop. So under Parallels Desktop 16 for Mac, click download free trial. And then on this screen here, you want to click download now. And that's going to save the Parallels Desktop 16 installer to your Mac. So you'll find it in the downloads folder most likely. You just wanna click install Parallels Desktop. That's going to mount the DMG. And then from there, it's just a matter of double clicking on install Parallels Desktop like this. And if you get this little prompt, just click open, and then it will download additional files required to install Parallels Desktop. So just be patient while this happens. And then you'll see where it says installing. So there we go, it's that simple. That easy, now just put in your administrator password and click OK. And then you should see where it says initializing Parallels Desktop. And again, this will take just a few more seconds. But like I said, this whole process couldn't be simpler. So now, once Parallels Desktop is finished initializing, you'll see this, install on ARM. And that means it's time for the next step registering as a Windows Insider. Now I'll have a link down below to the Windows Insider program in the description of this video, but Parallels was nice enough, they were kind enough to actually include a link that takes you to a Parallels support document, which includes links to the Windows Insider and to the Windows for ARM download. So you just click that link, and then on this page, you'll see where it says install Windows 10 on ARM. So if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the link, visit the Microsoft Windows Insider Preview Downloads webpage. So just click that link. And again, I'll have that linked in the description as well. And here's the thing. In order to download Windows for ARM from Microsoft, you have to be a part of their Windows Insider program, which is sort of like a beta program, if you will. The good news is that it's super easy to become a Windows Insider. It doesn't require any sort of special privileges. You don't have to pay anything. You simply click where it says learn more on this screen and that will walk you through the steps necessary to become a Windows Insider so that you can gain access to the Windows for ARM technical preview. So just click learn more if you aren't already set up as a Windows Insider. But if you are, then you simply log in and download the Windows 10 on ARM Insider preview. So that's what we're going to do right now in this next step. So you see the little login button in the upper right hand corner, just click there, click allow if you get a little prompt. And now I'm gonna log in with my Microsoft account, which again is set up as a Windows Insider. So password, and that will give me access to the Windows Insider previews downloads page. And then I will see this button here to download the Windows 10 client ARM64 Insider Preview. Now the build number may differ depending on when you follow this tutorial. So just keep that in mind, that's okay. So now it's downloading. You can see the size is fairly large. So we're talking almost 10 gigabytes. So this will take a while depending on your internet connection, 
Thankfully, I'm fortunate enough to have a fiber connection, which usually makes pretty quick work of downloads like this. So now we're ready to go to the next step, and that is configuring Windows 10 using Parallels. So close the Windows Insider preview page, and now you'll get back to your installation assistant for Parallels, click continue, and then you wanna click where it says install Windows or another OS. See below, you can also download Linux as well. Maybe I'll do that in another tutorial. Thumbs up if you wanna see that. But during the initial installation of Parallels, it will ask you for access to folders like your documents and your downloads folder, and that allows it to search out for eligible installers. And it found mine right there in the downloads folder. But in this case, I'm still gonna click install manually just to show you how that's done. So you simply drag the Windows 10 Insider Preview VHDX file from the downloads folder up into the installation assistant, just like that, and then click continue. And now the installation assistant will give you some options as to how you like to use your Windows installation. You can choose productivity or games only in this instance. And all it's really doing here is pre-configuring some of the settings to meet your needs. You can always go in and configure these settings later as well. So I'm choosing productivity. I'm gonna click continue. And now you see the name, Windows 10, we can leave it as is. You see the save to location, leave it as is. I'm gonna uncheck create alias, and I'm going to check customize settings before installation, and then click create. And this will take just a few seconds. So just be patient here. And then in just a second, we'll get the ability to configure our virtual machine installation. And it's going pretty quickly now. All right, so almost there, there we go. All right, so now it gives us the opportunity to configure Windows 10 with this particular virtual machine. So you can click options, you have startup and shutdown options, application, all sorts of different settings you can configure. But what I'm really interested in is the hardware and specifically the processors, which you can configure here. So I have an eight core CPU, so I can give it four cores or half and I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on this particular Mac. So I'm gonna give it half eight gigabytes. So obviously depending on the configuration of your machine, you're gonna to wanna to alter these processor and memory settings accordingly. So just keep that in mind. You can always go back and change it later as well. Just be sure to leave plenty of resources for your Mac installation. All right, so now it's time to install Windows 10. So you simply click continue and it'll start the Windows 10 installation just like that. Now, as you might expect, this will take a while and I have sped this up considerably. So just be patient, let Windows do its thing as it configures and gets everything ready for you. But now, as you can see, we're almost there and our installation is complete. So now we're ready to go to the next step. And that is signing in to your Parallels account. Now. Parallels will require you upon clicking where it says installation complete to sign in with your Parallels account. And they give you a free 14 day trial with Parallels Desktop 16 for Mac. And that's good news because if you find yourself in a bind and you don't have a dedicated Windows machine, but you really need Windows for some reason, well, you can simply sign up for the 14 day trial with Parallels Desktop 16 for Mac download the Windows Insider Preview for Windows for ARM, and you're good to go. So I've logged in with my Parallels account that has the 14-day trial enabled. But with that said, you'll definitely want to consider purchasing a license if you plan on regularly using Windows on your Mac. And you can do so by clicking the Buy button in the upper right-hand corner, and then you have several options available depending on your requirements. For the M1 Mac, I think the standard edition would be sufficient at $80 with up to eight gigabytes of virtual RAM and four virtual CPUs. But again, there's a 14 day trial. The next step is to run Windows Update. So you wanna to go to the start menu, go to settings, and then click where it says update and security, and then click resume updates. Now this will take a while to download all the necessary Windows updates on this initial installation. Now, another thing to consider is that if you wish to stay a part of the Windows Insider program on this installation, you may wanna consider going into where it says Windows Insider program and then clicking where it says go to diagnostics 
and feedback. And then you'll need to enable the optional diagnostic data in order to receive continuous bleeding edge Windows Insider program updates. And then of course you'll have to link your Windows Insider account here as well. Now, if you don't care about receiving the latest and greatest updates, you can keep all that disabled and just go about your business as normal. And I actually kind of recommend that if you're not someone who wants the latest and greatest, because this installation is pretty rock solid from what I've tested thus far. So now you just go ahead and restart once the windows update is completed. And this will take a little bit of time to finish the installation, but of course I've sped things up to get through it as soon as possible. So there we go. All right. So all the windows updates, or at least most of them are configured and set up. All right. So now it's going to reinstall parallels tools, which will require another restart. All right, so one last time, I'm gonna go back to Windows Update, Start Menu, Settings, Windows Update, and check for updates just to make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, so yeah, one last little update, that was it. We're good to go. So now you can install your favorite apps and games. Now the cool thing about this is that X64 apps work out of the box. So for instance, the Windows Store works right out of the box and you can download apps from the Windows Store and use those. But of course, you can also download other apps that you may need for Windows, and that's kind of the whole point of running Windows on a Mac, because not every application that's available for Windows is available on the Mac. For instance, a lot of games that you find on Steam aren't available on Steam for Mac, and there are a lot of other use cases where there is an app that you need on Windows that isn't available on the Mac, so you need to run Windows. And this is a great compromise for those times when you need those applications and you don't want to buy a separate Windows machine, for instance. Because of course, Boot Camp doesn't run at all on Macs with Apple Silicon. So let's go ahead and run Rocket League. Now I'll say this, as good as the M1 Macs are and as much praise as I've heaped on them, they're still relatively anemic as far as resources are concerned. I mean, the most RAM you can configure is just 16 gigabytes. So that's gonna be an issue when it comes to running virtual machines. And obviously the, the GPU is really good for specific use cases like with Final Cut Pro, especially good for integrated graphics. But for things like games, it's still pretty much, yeah, it, it's not it's not all that great. So temper your expectations accordingly when it comes to gaming on an M1 Mac. Some games work great, especially a lot of the Apple Arcade titles, but when you get to really intense 3D games, obviously Rocket League isn't, <laughs> isn't among the most uh, demanding games out there, but you can see even it sort of struggles running at 1080p on this M1 Mac. But the point is, you can. You can play Rocket League on your M1 Mac. You can run all sorts of Windows software on an M1 Mac, and it's pretty solid as far as stability is concerned. Uh, Parallels has really done a good job of making their virtualization software rock solid on the Mac. And all the things you love about a virtual machine, like being able to set up snapshots and things like that, things that didn't work on the technical preview of Parallels now work here on this shipping version of Parallels Desktop for Mac 16. So I wouldn't consider a virtual machine a bootcamp replacement, but on Apple Silicon, virtualization is pretty much the only options we have for running Windows. And it's easy to set up and a pretty good option at that. What do you guys think? Would you consider installing Windows 10 for ARM using Parallels on your Mac? Leave me a thumbs up if you appreciated this video and subscribe for more videos like this. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. 9to5Mac is sponsored by AirBuddy 2, a must have utility for AirPods users. As we discuss, AirBuddy 2 is the perfect companion for AirPods. It also extends Mac OS with a batteries widget and menu bar icon that shows all your devices intelligently grouped. And smart stats give you battery usage over time, total listening time, call time, and shows you which AirPod is draining its battery more quickly. 
but AirBuddy goes beyond headphones. It can show battery information for your iOS devices, accessories like the Magic Keyboard and Magic Mouse, and even other Macs running AirBuddy, including their accessories. And with the Magic Handoff, you can transfer a Magic Mouse trackpad or keyboard between two Macs running AirBuddy with just a few clicks. Go to airbuddy.app slash 9to5Mac to learn more. The first 100 9to5Mac viewers to use that URL will get AirBuddy with a 20% discount. Special thanks to AirBuddy2 for sponsoring 9to5Mac.